well set up for an exciting clash between Jamaica and the United States. Although there are athletes from other countries here, notably Maureen Thomas there on the inside, who will think that they're capable of getting in the mix too. Perhaps also Roxana Gomez there, the uh, world youth finalist from last year, who's in lane nine. Here goes Pinado, third and final attempt at four meters, 45. No, it's not to be. The gold has gone That's for sure. And she's not yet guaranteed the silver because Morato is still in there. The Finn in third place at the moment is passing this height. Remember, Moser of Switzerland has cleared this height first time, sitting pretty in gold medal position. Pinado now is gone, guaranteed a medal, but silver at best and possibly bronze and that depends upon Murto of Finland clearing the next height which we think will be 450 and here is the moment of truth for Murto at least the first of three attempts at this next height well that tends to happen for uh, one or two hours during a week in all track and field competitions you need to have eyes at all ends of the stadium It is going to be an exhilarating last hour to the third evening of competition in Bidgosh. There is Maureen Thomas of Kenya, 52-4-0 she's run this year. She does have to cope with the relatively tight bends of lane two. But she's done well to make this final. One final effort. Can she pick up a medal? Dorjis Koba there of Ukraine. 52.79 her best this season, so she is a bit slower than Thomas on her inside. Here is the first of the real medal contenders, Janelle Bromfield. She's the fastest Jamaican here, but she didn't win the Jamaican Championships. That title was won by this woman, Tiffany James, who ran a lifetime best in yesterday's semi-final. And what a run it was. Jessica Thornton, she too a lifetime best in the semi-final when she ran 52-12. Lina Irby, well, she's such a powerful runner is the American. And she ran her fastest time of the year in yesterday's semi-finals. Natasha McDonald of Canada, yet to break 53 seconds. She's in lane eight and on the outside, the world youth finals from last year in Cali. Just 17, Roxana Gomez. Well, winning this title is certain to be as much about strength over three rounds as it is a one-off 51 or 52 second effort. If you'd watch yesterday's semi-finals, you'll know what I mean because the leading contenders here, well, they really gave it everything. Tiffany James of Jamaica, Lina Irby of the United States, perhaps the favorites, but their rivals know that they come here having left very little in the locker during yesterday's semis. Romfield, Jamaica in four. James, Jamaica in five. Thornton, Australia in six. Irby, United States in lane seven. They, the main protagonists, in this women's 400 meters final. The championship record set four years ago by the American Ashley Spencer, 50.50 in the Barcelona Olympic Stadium. Can Lina Irby become another American to take the title? As she did in yesterday's semi-final, it's a very committed approach to the race, and she leads at the moment. Tiffany James, as she did yesterday, has gone up very hard indeed. The Australian Thornton's got a huge amount of work to do. Also Bromfield, there are two Jamaicans in with a chance here, and Jamaica have never won this title. And look at James coming through, but Irby will hang on. Bromfield coming through for the bronze medal. It's America or it's Jamaica. It's James, who will get it? It's James who takes it. Jamaica do have their 400-meter champion. 
And these two gave everything yesterday in the semi-finals and they gave even more tonight in this final. And Tiffany James, in the end, is the champion. But what a final it was. 51.32, the fastest time by a junior in the world this year by some margin. Brilliant, brilliant run, really gutsy. So love to see racing like that. The times almost become irrelevant when you see two athletes, not in adjacent lanes, but very in very close proximity like this, battling away over the last 50 or 60 meters. That is athletics at its peak. And look at the way James is clawing the air there, trying to get back to Lina Irby, who leads to within about 60 metres of the line. And then inch by inch, Tiffany James there in that yellow and green of Jamaica, eases past the American, who maintains her form so well, grits her teeth, can't quite get it. The battle drags them, what, four metres clear, and it's mighty tight for third. Goodness me, I think maybe Thornton of Australia takes third spot on the dip. I'm not sure she's even aware of Bromfield of Jamaica in lane four. Uh, as you can see there, right of picture, Bromfield is battling away as well. But did Jessica Thornton, the Australian, take third spot? James giving it 100% there, dipping at the line. Wonderful running from the two Jamaicans. And we're just waiting for that to result to be confirmed. Martin checking, and it's taking a while to come through. But look how relaxed the Australian fourth from left Thornton looks, compared with the two out front battling away. Well, as you might expect, Tim, lifetime best from both of the first two athletes. They've given their best on the big night, and we still have not got confirmation of who got through for third. I'm with you, Tim. I think Jessica Thornton there despite the fact she didn't seem to quite realize herself there was no dip of any real sort there and we are still waiting for the third place to come through gold over jamaica their first ever in this event irby of the united states well she gave her best it was a valiant fight but in the end she just fell short but what a lifetime bet she got out of it so back to this and through